Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about five things that I'm going to be doing differently for my second baby. I already filmed five things that I will be doing differently for my second pregnancy, talking about the whole pregnancy side of things. Today is going to be just about the baby after it comes. So this is our second baby and they are going to be a year and a half apart. So because we just did the whole newborn baby thing, very recently, there's a lot of things that we learned the hard way that we want to change for this second baby. That is what I'm going to be talking about today. I will go ahead and link down below and also up in a card my pregnancy update playlists if you want to follow along with those and with this pregnancy. And I also have a lot of other mommy and baby related videos, lots of baby hauls and advice videos and whatnot. So if you're interested in the mommy content, I have a ton of it. I will leave links down below for you and subscribe if you like those kinds of videos because I do them all the time. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the five things we will be doing differently for our second baby. Number one, I am not going to shy away from store brand items this time around, and I'm not going to be afraid of the clearance rack this time around. I feel like it's pretty classic with your first baby to get everything brand new off the rack, you go to Carter's and you load up and you go crazy and you spend a lot of money. But this time around, I'm going to try to kind of rein it in a little bit, especially if we have a girl because we already have a ton of girl stuff. So I'm definitely going to try to clearance shop, once upon a child shop a little bit more, um, and also go for uh, store brand stuff. So with Ellie, she wore the Honest Company diapers until she was about six months old, I want to say, and then we tried out up and up diapers. And I love the up and up diapers. They're very, very comparable. I like them even a little bit more. So we're going to keep this baby in up and up the whole time. We also tried the up and up brand of diaper rash cream and we loved that. I am not going to be as afraid of trying out the generic brand of things because we've been saving a ton of money on diapers ever since we switched to up and up. So with two kids, like... I mean, you gotta save where you can, so I'm going to definitely try out more, especially of Up and Up, because I find Target stuff is very, very comparable to the name brand. So that is the first thing. Number two is I'm not going to be so afraid of co-sleeping. With Ellie, I was terrified of having her in the bed with us. I thought that we were going to roll over and suffocate her. I had to move all of the pillows and all of the blankets from a whole radius around her when I had her in bed with us because I was very, very afraid of co-sleeping. This time around, we are very used to sleeping with a baby on our arm, so I am definitely not going to be so freaked out by it this time. If we happen to take a nap and keep the baby in between us, no big deal. We have king size bed, so it's about as safe as it can get. So I am going to not be so freaked out by co-sleeping and definitely get some rest while the baby is resting this time. Number three, this is probably the biggest one on this list. I am going to give breastfeeding a better shot this time around. Now, I could do a whole video all about why we didn't breastfeed and why breastfeeding didn't work out for us. There's a lot of things that went into it, but at the time, it just didn't make sense for Ellie. It didn't make sense for me, for our family, for what was happening in the situation. And then when she was two months old, I was hospitalized for weeks so I wouldn't have been able to breastfeed anyway I would have had to stop at that point so we got very very lucky that my um, doctor's office was doing a case study thing so we were provided with free formula for the first 16 weeks so that was super awesome we got really lucky that that was happening at the time and then everything else started happening and I wouldn't have been able to breastfeed anyway so it all worked out really well in our favor to do formula with Ellie but for this baby I definitely want to try breastfeeding I really want to do a lot of research while I'm still pregnant figure it out, talk to the lactation consultant at the hospital, let them help me, um, and not rely so much on just, she's not latching and I know she's hungry and I don't know how much she's getting and I'm overwhelmed, so let's just give her a bottle. I definitely want to try to work through the issues of breastfeeding this time and really make it work for us. Number four, I want to keep this baby in our room for much longer than we did with Ellie. Ellie was in the bassinet in our room until she was about three months old. And a lot of different things go into that, mostly because 
I was in the hospital, like I said, for several weeks. So she was kind of staying with my grandparents, with my husband's parents, with my sister-in-law. She was kind of at a bunch of different people's houses. And because of that, she was already used to being in a crib in a separate room. So by the time I got home from the hospital and started feeling better and whatnot, she was kind of already used to sleeping on her own in her own separate bedroom. So it just made more sense to like transition her into her crib. We also had just barely moved and the bedroom layout was a lot closer. So her crib is just like right next to our room instead of down the hall. So just a whole factor of a bunch of different situations made it so that we moved her to her crib when she was really small. But with this baby, I would really like to have the baby in our room for a lot longer. I love waking up in the middle of the night and looking over and seeing the sweet little sleeping bundle in the bassinet next to the bed. It's like one of my favorite things ever. So I really would love to share a room with this baby for a lot longer. Also, Ellie is going to be in the crib when we bring the baby home. So we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer so that we can get her used to a toddler bed before we move the baby into the crib. So that's part of it too. <laughs> and the very last thing, number five, I want to be a lot more sure of myself as a parent just in general this time around. I feel like this is a very big like baby number two mom thing that when it's your first kid you don't really know what you're doing and you really rely on your mom and your mother-in-law and any sisters you have that have had babies and friends that have had babies to kind of tell you like how they did things and then you do it how they did it because you don't really know what you're doing at least that was the situation with me so this time around I just want to be a lot more sure of myself as a mother and know that I've done this before I know what I'm doing I can do things my own way I don't have to do it how my mom did it I don't have to do it how my mother-in-law did it I can do my own thing with my kids however I want to and I want to just be a lot more sure of myself and my abilities and my capability of being a parent because I've already been a parent for this long and I've kept a baby alive for this long. So I would really like to do things my own way the next time around and not rely so much on advice and feedback and what other people did for their kids and how I should be doing things differently. And I'm just going to do my own way. So those are the five things that I plan on doing differently for my next baby. Leave me a comment down below and let me know if you have more than one kid, what did you do differently each time around? And if you only have one baby, let me know what you're planning on doing differently for future kids, if anything. And we can kind of chat down below in the comments. Like I said, I have a ton of mommy and pregnancy and baby related videos here on my channel. So if you enjoyed that type of content, subscribe give me a thumbs up. I have links down below for all of my other mommy videos. So with all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.